Camelot 321 here, and oh my gosh, can Lowe's get any damn worse? It keeps getting worse, son. So my answer is yes. <laughs> it probably can get worse. The stores are getting disgusting. The employee morale is at an all-time low. Everybody is not approving of the job Marvin, the CEO, is doing right now. They're all pretty pissed. They think he's a terrible CEO. And we're going to look at that directly because people are talking about it and they're pissed, man. They're so pissed, man. We're going to read right into it. And also, you're going to see some pretty disturbing pictures here in a second. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, <laughs> let's get right into it. But before we get into it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, you know, that's really damn important. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> we'll get to talk about some more dirty stuff. Some more dirty stuff. My favorite. So first message, this is going to shock the hell out of you. If you work at Lowe's, it probably won't because <laughs> you've seen it. But if you don't, check this out right here. I'm on site right now, a vendor for a whole store reset. So we're basically moving everything in the store. While moving product in an aisle, I was literally overwhelmed by what I thought was cat pee smell. Having grown up around cats, if you know, you know. <laughs> Turns out it was rats. Oh my gosh, rats everywhere. I saw multiple live guys running around and the stock was completely covered in rat fecal matter. I was even asked to stock products next to rat traps and on top of rat fecal matter. Oh my gosh. And this is in Lowe's. This is in Marvin's Lowe's. His personal ass Lowe's. Check this out. You think it sounds gross. You ready for his picture? You ready not sleep ever again? Are you? I'm not. I never sleep anyway, so let's add fuel to the fire right damn now. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. There's a giant rat glue trap in the middle. There's literal rat poo everywhere. Like literally a thousand turds, man. This is like as much as my house has in my toilets personally from me for a whole week. That's a lot. <laughs> it's my, It might be less. I don't know. I don't know. Look at this. Insane. Insane. Holy mother. It, there's so much. I can't even look at this anymore. But I'm going to keep looking at it for you. <laughs> Not really. Closing it right now. Isn't that insane? Isn't that insane? But it doesn't stop there. Next message. Check this out. I worked at Lowe's for almost four years. It was my first job. I quit because I was being held to a position in the company from an assistant manager that didn't like me. I'm in a lot better place now, so it all worked out in the long run. I saw a lot of things happen while I worked there. One time, it was right around Black Friday, and I worked a 2 to 11 shift. I literally just pulled up into the parking lot and seen a man run out of the store with power toolkits in each hand and a cashier following him out yelling, you need to pay for that. At that time of year, there was usually a police officer that sat in our lot to do paperwork, and to my luck, there was one. So I walked over and told him and pointed out the man who stole the tools. He asked how I knew, and I told him I seen the cashier following him out yelling at him that he needs to pay for it. The police officer ended up catching him and getting the power tools back. They came into the store and wrote up a police report, so it all worked out. Later that day, I got called up to the loss prevention office, and the HR manager and LP manager were there. They had a write-up there. They were going to write me up for going to the police. <laughs> what? <laughs> Doesn't make much sense, right? It seems like he did the right thing. Well... Here's what happened. The problem was I didn't punch in yet. So they tried to get me to sign a punch in slip that would have changed my punch in time to include when I talked to the police officer so they can write me up. I wouldn't sign it. And I called a corporate manager that I knew and told him the situation. He helped me out luckily, but I went and found another job shortly after. Shocking. They tried to write him up when he wasn't even on the clock, baby. Too bad. We got the loophole, son. We got the loophole. You can't do it here, Marvin. I'm going to escape your grasp. I'm escaping. <laughs> you can't get me now. But what happens when you get injured at Lowe's? This is very important, Marvin. I hope you're watching this because I'm talking directly to you. What happens when I, uh, me working at Lowe's gets injured? Look at this message right here. Hey, Camelot, I'm an employee at Lowe's. I work in the hardware and tools department. Earlier this year, I was involved in a major car accident. I've never been in one before, so I didn't know what to expect. I felt a little sore. I went to work the next day, and then I started to feel the pain. I went to ask the assistant manager if I could leave early so I could go to the hospital because I was in terrible pain. The assistant manager told me to just do file, which is where you call customers and ask about their orders. 
I couldn't believe they weren't letting me go. I had told her I was involved in an accident, and she said, okay, you can't pick up the phone and call customers. I told her I need to go to the hospital, and after 15 minutes, basically begging, she let me leave, finally. I came back after being in the hospital for two days and handed the management my letter from the hospital saying that I had to be on light duty. Shocking. Let's see if this actually happens. Later that day, I was in unbearable pain and asked to leave early so a co-worker could take me home since my car was totaled, and the assistant manager said, how long is this going to be going on for? Oh, sorry, I got in a wreck. I ain't got a car. What the hell? I can't just heal myself and get a car in one day? Damn. You can't keep leaving earlier. This is going to lead to a write-up, she says. And I told her, if me being in terrible pain because I was just in a car accident is going to give me a write-up, then give me a write-up right now because I'm leaving. (laughs) And she let me go without a write-up. Shocking. That's kind of rare. I actually didn't expect that at all. I thought he was going to get written up and then slapped around by like HR or something. Like with fist. I don't know, man. I don't know what to expect anymore out of life. So you get injured. They're going to punish you for it. In his case, he got out of it. But she tried keeping him there all day to further his uh, pain. Do you? That's what is happening to me right now. I'm furthering my pain for your enjoyment. He had to further his pain, not for his enjoyment. <laughs> it's, not the, it's not fun to be in the pain, baby. But look at this message. Lowe's is horrible. Straight, sweet, and to the point. I was a department manager there, and they couldn't give two shits about employees. One of my team members fainted on the floor. He was taken to the hospital where they found out it was an issue with his heart. When I came in two days later, other managers had him stocking shelves on top with a lift. Shocking. Injured at Lowe's. Had a heart attack. Back at work a day later, stocking heavy stuff. I also had an employee get a knife pulled on him when I wasn't there. And when I saw him the next day, he said I was the first manager to ask if he was okay and how he was coping. Shocking. Shocking. You have a heart attack. You get in a car accident and have no car. A guy pulls a knife on you, touches you a few times with it in a not lovable way. Lowe's don't give a damn. Lowe's don't give a damn, son. And the rat poop is everywhere, which is not helping. All the ammonia from the rat fecal matter is making Marvin make dumb decisions at Lowe's. <laughs> Damn, Marvin, stop. Why are you doing this to me, baby? But what do the employees think? And what do they think about Marvin? Let's look at that. But before we do that, look at this right here. It says, bye, Lowe's. Quit this week. Shocking. Had enough of this poorly run organization that calls itself a company. So why did I leave? One, allowing unchecked number of customers all the time in their pathetic attempt to try to catch up and overtake Home Depot. Shocking. Including opening earlier and closing later back earlier this year once this all began. Two, DOS. You're still using freaking DOS in 2020. Wow, I did not know that. What in the name of the holiest hell is that crap being still used for? (laughs) What? Multi-billion dollar organization still using DOS. Story of my life. Number three, total disorganization from ordering, vendors, warehouse receiving, and then confirming orders, processing orders, knowing exact ETA for orders, receiving orders damaged upon receiving, having no one take initiative to place orders in the system where it's located, retrieving orders to wherever the hell it got put away. What the hell? Number four, no top stock base label for organization. Number five, continuously understaffed in all departments. Number six, no one gets training. Number seven, no one has power equipment license shocking number eight receiving a constant mess and too small to handle so much freight going in and out number nine incompetent overnight stalkers who just shove places everywhere number 10 no one cares about inventory oh my god and look at this right here somebody right here i quit last week for most the same reasons oh my gosh look at this having worked at home depot in the past the technology part is what irks me at lowe's you know still using dos Oh my gosh, somebody right here. I can't find anything I disagree with. (laughs) Everybody thinks the same thing. But what do they think of the CEO, Marvin? Well, let's take a look at this right here. And look how much this is upvoted. You see this? I'm even going to give it a little doodle right there. Marvin Ellison is not a good business person. That is the CEO. Check this out. This is perhaps a weird post, but something struck me today while shopping online on Lowe's system. Wow, Lowe's really has become worse in the last couple years. Seems to get worse every time I look at it. So I searched online for new Lowe's CEO, and behold, he starts in 2018. So I look at tenure. Oh, 
J.C. Penny. I would not put that on my resume. I look at his HD experience. Sure enough, Home Depot started getting so much better the second he left. Shocking. I get that he has a very uninformed and unsupported belief that shareholders are gods. This is why Marvin is a piece of garbage, because he thinks shareholders are god gods, and he only speaks to them. Nothing at Lowe's seems to work anymore. Ordering online is impossible. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. In-store lost a lot of what it really used to be. Really competent staff. I don't blame the current staff. You aren't trained and most have no experience. So how can anyone expect you to answer complicated questions? The display designers must be on crack and I feel so bad for them. Maybe I'm too harsh, but I have 20 years in business and strategy and I see this as kind of coal and sell old school approach to shareholder monetization all the time as though it's some kind of revelation when it has been proven to be detrimental to long term shareholder returns over and over and over, which is N CEOs don't care about long term, they care about short term. Not to mention literally hurting staff by cutting resources, increasing fatigue, destroying morale, and driving customers away because it's now essentially a Walmart with more tools. <laughs> wow. And th look at this message right here, that c this comment on it. Let me assure you the staff are miserable and last have lost all hope. Shocking. Unbelievable. Look at this. We lost two ASMs this week. Shocking. Does Marvin care? Hell no. Hell no. Look at this. I work with somebody who's been with Lowe's for 10 years plus who said before Marvin it was great working there and they were actually looking forward to coming into work. Now every day they are filled with dread because they know it's going to be a struggle because they don't have the tools of people to help their shift and they complain they're too, they're told Oh, well, make no mistake. A CEO isn't to make your job better or provide better experience. They're a hundred percent beholden to stockholders. Shocking. So Lowe's is currently on fire. It's on damn fire. Marvin's making everybody's life a living hell. The CEO, Marvin Ellison. No one cares. No one cares. Everybody's leaving in droves because it seems like the modern ass CEO is only behind the shareholders, which leads to short term gains. But in the end, the company falls to the wayside as it always does because they choose profit over people and they always will. So that's all I have today. Make sure if you like this video, you like it, you subscribe. That's real important. I stream Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 8.30 p.m. I'll read your stories on there live. It's a good time. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That's real damn important. And also, make sure you do me a real big favor. Make sure you get on it. Doggone it. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Marvin.